Hello, welcome to Online Public Speaking Spring 2020. I am your um, extremely stylish. Well, I do actually look pretty good today. Let me make sure I'm appropriate for the camera here. Extremely stylish professor. Hello, welcome to the class. Uh, online public speaking is a little bit different than a normal public speaking class, so I thought I'd make a video, orient you to the syllabus, and kind of tell you some of the things that are some of the policies and the way the course is going to work. Uh, but if you have any questions at any time, you can always email me. It's there in the syllabus, or you can reach out to me on Discord. So, very first thing is, this is not going to be a class where I want you to videotape yourself talking in front of a podium to a bunch of people sitting down. You are to speak to the audience the way I'm speaking to you now. This is what public speaking is going to be. Um, from now, from when you were young, all the way into the into the future, which is this idea of asynchronous video or podcasting or um, vlogging in a way, this kind of uh, talking to the camera for some kind of new media digital web space. This is what we're going to practice in here because I believe this to be public speaking. It's definitely within the tradition of using your voice to share your ideas and your beliefs with an audience that you don't really have great access to. You can kind of guess about what they believe and think and what might persuade them to that you're right, but you don't really have a lot of um, uh, secret tricks. You just kind of have to make the best case you can. So this hyper-mediated form of speech is what we're going to be teaching, and we're going to try to really get you comfortable with this. So presenting your views in terms of audio or video to other people out there is what the class is about. So that's what the speeches are that we're going to do. Um, the first assignment you need to do is you need to join our Discord server. Discord is a uh, messaging platform. The instructions are in the syllabus here on how to do that. Uh, join it, post an introduction to yourself in one of the classroom channels, and uh, let us know how you're doing and um, what you're up to. And um, yeah. Um, that's the very first assignment. Yeah, I've got to change a couple things about the syllabus here. Um, it's not quite ready. Uh, it felt like the break went by really fast, didn't it? So um, we have Discord, which you will need to join. And that's the very first thing you'll need to do. The other thing you'll need to do is create two online accounts. You'll need to create an account at anchor.fm which is a podcasting uh, platform that's free. You can even make, an, make podcasts on your phone using the app. And a YouTube channel or a Vimeo channel or some other video service, whichever one is your preferred video service. I like um, YouTube. I know a lot of people have problems with YouTube because of the um, privacy and because of the ad revenue and things like that. But it's actually a pretty useful and easy way to host videos. And if you want to do just audio, just podcasting, You'll need the Anchor FM account, but you need both because I'm going to require you to do um, to do both uh, at some point uh, during the uh, the term. So make sure you have both accounts, and then you will be ready to go. The way that you submit your speeches on Discord and on Canvas is through the share link. Don't just copy the website in the... Um, in your browser and paste it you're logged into that site you're uploading so if you're logged in that's the that's the URL for your logged in site we're not going to be able to access that you have to click the share button and I put pictures in the syllabus about that too um, and the due dates are there and don't uh, do not wait until the end of the class to submit everything sometimes people will do that they'll just be like I'll just submit them on the last day no uh, the way the course works is it builds and every single speech that you do, every presentation you do, you're going to get a lot of feedback from me, and then that'll help you do even better next time. And so each speech kind of builds. And as each speech builds and gets better, you'll get better at this, and you'll start to think about it a little bit differently and maybe make some adjustments to improve your ability to present well. Um, what else? I mean, we're asynchronous online, so there's not really a lot of like attendance stuff to worry about. Um, we will have some quizzes from time to time. I'll let you know when those get posted. Um, and the rubric for how to do all the speech is at the very end of the syllabus. And there's also more specific rubrics that I put onto uh, Canvas in the different modules for um, 
the different assignments. And if there's one that's very specific, then you'll be given that one too. But there shouldn't be. You have the freedom to speak about anything you want in this course. If you're looking for ideas, I have some ideas I can share with you. Uh, just reach out to me. The key to doing well in this class is do the assignments on time. Turn them in on time. Ask for help when you need it. Uh, keep chatting with everybody. Um, put your questions in Discord and let's talk there. And uh, I'll be producing some videos to help you do well on speeches. So watch for those. Uh, and that's really about it. Welcome to the class. Um, if you have any questions about anything in particular, let me know. I will be happy to answer them.